Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mark Levine, Chair of the City Council's Committee on Health. Pleased to be joined by two stalwart committee members, uh, Councilmember Amphrey Samuel and Councilmember Dr. Matthew Eugene. Um, they get extra points uh, for making this quorum possible. More discretionary money in the health budget for you guys. Uh, we are going to be considering today a bill that has been sponsored by Councilmember Vallone, um, which will require a full service shelter be maintained in each borough of New York City. In 2000, the City Council passed Local Law 26, the Animal Shelters and Sterilization Act, which required that a full service animal shelter exist in each of the five boroughs. After a decade of noncompliance and litigation with a nonprofit volunteer organization, the Bloomberg administration and the New York City Council came to an agreement in 2011 to repeal the requirement that there be full service shelters and animal shelters in every borough and instead focus on improving the existing shelter system. As part of this agreement, the Bloomberg administration committed to increasing its investment in animal shelters by nearly $10 million over three years to greatly improve the quality of care for animals at the shelters. This increased funding has served to drastically increase staff, improve adoptions, provide much needed vet veterinary services, and expand rescue response and transport services. As part of these recent reforms, ACC has grown and strengthened its executive staff under the leadership of its executive director, Risa Weinstock. At a city council hearing in 2015, DOHMH Commissioner Dr. Mary Bassett testified that there is a commitment on the part of this administration to full service shelters in all boroughs. Since then, DOHMH has dedicated $98 million in its capital plan for the construction and renovation of the city's animal care centers. On January 23rd, 2018, the de Blasio administration announced the location of a new full-service animal shelter in the Baychester neighborhood of the Bronx. While we are encouraged by this new commitment, we must remain vigilant and ensure that full-service shelters are available to every New Yorker in every borough. And proposed intro 401A will do just that by ensuring that each borough, including Queens, has a full-service shelter by July 2024. This has been a long, long-standing priority of Councilmember Vallone and many other members of the Vallone family, and we congratulate them on getting this to the finish line. And I'm now going to ask our committee clerk, Billy Martin, to call the vote. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on health, introduction 401A, Chair Levine. Vote aye. Eugene. I vote aye. Amprey Samuel. I vote aye. By a vote of three in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. Item is adopted by the committee. It, can we keep the vote open for? Uh, you can still applaud, though. Uh, we 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 have now reached a majority, so we have three out of five, and at least one more in route. So we'll keep the vote open. Thank you, colleagues. <laughs> 